Today we're gonna check out a tool called Munch that claims to take your long form videos and break them up into shorts content with subtitles and with perfect cropping on the frame. Now I'm really curious about Munch because if you've watched my channel at all, you probably know I do not like making shorts content. I don't think that the amount of work that I put into my shorts videos is in line with the very few views and subscribers and very little revenue that those shorts shorts generate. So I've been off the shorts train for quite some time, but if making shorts content is as simple as Munch says it is, maybe I'd be into shorts. So today we're going to try out Munch together. This video is not sponsored. I'm going to give you my honest thoughts at the end after I've completed the whole process. If I like this tool, maybe I'll get an affiliate link from them and drop it down in the description so you can try it for yourself. I do think they have a free trial. Um, and those affiliate links just help support my channel and they don't cost you anything extra. All right, let's try Munch out. So here I am signed into my Munch account to start a new project. I'm just gonna hit this big red plus sign. I'm gonna select YouTube Shorts. And then all I have to do is type in a link into this field. Now I'm gonna choose this video here. I already posted to this channel, how to make marketing videos look more expensive. I think this is a good choice because this is like a very listicle video and I think it'll lend itself to shorts content better than some of my other tutorials. So I'm just gonna paste the link to this video right here in this field and hit next. Then it's going to ask me what style of subtitles I want on my video. Here are my choices. I'm gonna pick this one here and let's hit next. Now I need to name my project and I can describe my source video. So I would say it's an explainer and I can choose the length of my videos or I can just say I trust Munch. So let's try that. So it says it's gonna take about 40 minutes to turn this long form video into shorts. So we're just gonna to have to sit tight. I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like my video is done processing. Let's click on it. And it looks like I have 10 shorts cut from this one long video. And then they're sorted by what's called the Munch score, which I believe is like a combination of searchability on that topic and also how coherent the short is. All right, let's click on this first video and see how it came out. All right, my next tip for you is all about selecting your narrator. It's so common for people to think they need a male, big, booming voice to narrate their commercials and marketing videos, like a movie trailer voice. I get this all the time. But again, if you pay attention to the higher end brands or the bigger brands, in our culture, they are not using that voice. What are they using? They're using younger sounding voices. They're using maybe voices with a little bit more personality. They might be using voices with a little vocal fry at the end. That's what's current and more high end today. So I say forego that big, cheesy, cliche, male radio voice. You don't need that. Pick something out of the box and make your video marketing stand out with that. All right, my next tip for you. Okay, so first and foremost, in that long form video, I had like full screen graphics to break up the different sections of my video. And obviously those full screen graphics do not work in the vertical format. This is one of the challenges for me about turning my long form content into shorts because I would be correcting all of this normally in Final Cut Pro. And that is a fair amount of work, so it's just not worth my time. But let's see if we can make this work by hitting the edit button. And so in this edit view, I can see a transcription of the section of the long form video that comprises this shorts content. There's also a bit of like a timeline down here where I can trim up my video. So what I would do is trim, I'm gonna grab this bottom here and trim out this part because I think this will still make sense. And so now it starts with the words it's so common for, which makes so much more sense. I am still seeing this graphic overlay, which is kind of a bummer. It's just the way that the time works. Let's listen to it. So common for people to think. Yeah, I'm really talking while that graphic is on the screen. Let me jump to the end. I think we could tighten up the end too. This short is 48 seconds, which I think is kind of long. I'm gonna look at my subtitles here. And I can tell if I have to trim a little more because I'm still seeing the word so. Here we go. We'll fry at the end. That's what's current and more high end today. 
What's interesting about the crop on this is that in my shots, I'm not centered in the frame. I'm a little bit off center, but it did center me in the vertical video. So it definitely detected like my face and cropped appropriately, which is interesting. All right, I'm gonna go back and let's check out one more. Give your videos some breathing room. We all have seen the commercials where the narrator actually sounds like they've been sped up because people are trying to cram so much content into 30 seconds. A lot of people feel like I've got 30 seconds because I'm running a broadcast commercial or I don't want this video to be longer than a minute because no one's going to pay attention even online. Give your videos some breathing room. We all have seen the commercials where this one feels like it was cut off at the end, like prematurely. So let me see if I can fix that. I'm gonna hit the edit button. And if I scroll down to my transcription, I can see what was cut out. I'm gonna expand it, but it's still not enough in there. I actually wanna add more content to the end, but when I try to drag the clip further, it stops. So I'm gonna hit this plus sign. And I get this option here. I can add 30 more seconds to the start or end of the clip. Obviously I want the end. And it says it's gonna take about five minutes to do this. So I'm gonna hit proceed and we're just gonna wait. Now I can tell you that extending your clips in this way only comes with the pro version of Munch. So I had to spring for an upgrade to get all the features. All right, the processing's done. It actually took less than five minutes. So now let me open up this video and extend the content so it makes sense. All have seen the commercials where the narrator actually sounds like they've been sped up because people are trying to cram so much content into 30 seconds. A lot of people feel like I've got 30 seconds because I'm running a broadcast commercial or I don't want this video to be longer than a minute because no one's going to pay attention even online. How many words can I stuff in there? I would challenge you to say how few words could you use in your advertising and how can you rely on visuals more to tell that story? Again, if you go back to bigger brands, they don't have like voiceovers that sound like they're sped up trying to get in as much information as possible in 30 seconds. That's what used car salesmen do and you're above that. So now I'm gonna go through all of these shorts uh, real quick and determine of these 10, how many I think are actually viable. So out of these 10 short form videos that Munch delivered to me, I would say about four of them are workable. I could adjust them a little bit and have them make sense when I upload them to YouTube. So what are my final thoughts on Munch? I would say that the quality of shorts that Munch delivered to me is not the same quality of a short that I would create for myself. You know, you saw that I had that problem with the full screen graphic overlays not translating in a vertical format. That's something I could fix if I were actually editing these shorts myself in an app like Final Cut Pro. That wouldn't be a problem. So there are some limitations here with Munch. And like I said, it's not the quality of short that I would be creating, but I'm not creating shorts at all because they're too much work. So if you take into account how little work the Munch app is in that I could get four shorts out of that one long form video, I'd say it's pretty worthwhile. Um, I'll link to it down below if you guys wanna try it for free. I think this would be a great tool if you made podcasting content or interview style content because when you watch a short form video that's a podcast or a longer interview, you kind of understand contextually that this is already a small piece of a larger conversation. And I think the Munch shorts are gonna lend themselves very well to that type of content as opposed to the content that I make. So those are my thoughts on Munch. If you try it, come back and let us know down in the comments what you thought of it. Thanks to everyone who watches all the way to the end. I picked out some other videos for you. I'll see you again.